History. Greetings, YouTubers. We have a, another shocking development in Congress. Uh, it is incredibly shocking, but since most Americans, and you know who you are, and you know who you aren't, since most Americans are incredibly ignorant, this won't shock them, and they probably wouldn't care even if they did know this, but as you probably know, Hussein Obama is allowing now, due to uh, a number of problems with Obamacare and people losing their health insurance, and of course the Obamacare website's a train wreck, but it's not about, this isn't about that specifically. He's allowing people to get plans, keep health care plans, and this is, again, as an aside, this is too little too late. It's going to be too little too late for a lot of people, but you can have a health care plan that doesn't meet Obamacare's uh, requirements of what constitutes uh, minimal, uh, adequate, quality, government-approved health care. So Hussein just unilaterally said, yep, oh, we're doing that. Well, uh, Fred Upton and a number of House Republicans said, well, let's ensconce this in law. We'll amend Obamacare. It's called the Keep Your Health Care, Keep Your Health Plan Act of 2013. He said, well, we'll pass this, you know, because uh, Congress is the lawmaker, right? According to the Constitution, only Congress can make law. And it's a very short piece of legislation. It doesn't take very long to go through it. Uh, it's going to treatment as grandfathered health plan and satisfaction of minimal minimum essential coverage, etc. And it's, it's just going to basically do what Hussein unilaterally and illegally did. And even 39 Democrats vo voted for it. It passed the House easily. Well, now, uh, Henry Nostralitis Waxman, keep in mind this man's been in Congress almost 40 years. Nostralitis Waxman's been in Congress 40 years. And he uh, did not favor this legislation. He voted against it. And then the congressional record I read, he says of this bill, this bill is not a bill to let people keep their health insurance plans. And actually it is, but the president took care of that issue yesterday. This bill is another vote to repeal the Affordable Care Act. And I didn't see anything in there, so I don't know if he's senile or what. It says it's going to repeal the Affordable Care Act. It would take away the core protections of that law. I guess Hussein already took away core protections of it because he delayed the employer mandate unilaterally and illegally too. Waxman, Nostralitis Waxman continues. Now I understand the concern of many members that individuals should be able to keep their health insurance if they like it. Really, that's mighty wide of you. But there is a profound difference between providing relief for individuals whose policies have been canceled which is what the president did yesterday. Notice what Waxman never mentions. He never mentioned the Constitution once. This guy has been in Congress, this piece of garbage, has been in Congress for almost 40 years, and he never mentioned the Constitution. That, that would make James Madison literally spin in his grave. It, this is insanity. 40 years and he never, he thinks Hussein is some kind of tin pot dictator. This is, and so, you know, that should be shocking. This should be an incredibly shocking development and I pointed that out already in another one of my videos. Uh, this illegal executive power. But, you know, how many people will be shocked at it, really? I don't think most people even understand the Constitution. I, I just think America is full of completely ignorant and stupid people. That's the way it is. But Henry Waxman, who's supposed to be the smartest man in the room, almost 40 years in Congress, never mentioned the Constitution once. Have a nice day, folks. You've been warned.